Flash Season 2, Episode 13, Welcome to Earth 2. This is definitely an awesome episode, of course. I think this is what we've been waiting for for a very long time. Get to see Earth 2, get to see quite a few of the characters, a lot more than I was expecting um, as far as the doppelgangers go, but they definitely threw it you know, all out there. We got a couple of really great things that were some very nice references. Uh, the first thing that happened is when they went through the portal, we get visions of you know, our different, you know, DC heroes. So, of course, we see Oliver as Arrow. We get the Flash, but I'm pretty sure that was a clip from the old series, Flash. It wasn't actually Barry. So I thought that was cool. And then they showed Supergirl, and I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in the last episode, that they're doing a Flash-Supergirl uh, crossover. And that was very awesome to see, because, of course, I knew it was happening, but they actually showed it in this episode. So for people who didn't know that was happening... I'm sure that like completely blew their minds, but that was very awesome to see. And then when they get to Earth 2, we get not only um, the guy, I can't remember his name, but he was the guy who's supposed to be the second person for Firestorm. He's super nice and stuff. He's the total opposite, which I thought was very funny because Barry and Cisco, when they freak out, Cisco made like the a face like he was just disgusted he was just like ah oh. like he just <laughs> looked very disgusted and it was really funny like Barry was just freaked out a little but Cisco was just visibly just like like he was really messed up so that I thought was really funny um I couldn't believe they did this but I love the fact that they got Deadshot back and that was really awesome like he you know and I was surprised I didn't know Barry even knew who Deadshot was because I didn't realize that he was in the series when they crossed over, but I guess that was in the last season when he died. But he wasn't, ex I, he wasn't, you know, involved in that stuff, so I was surprised that he knew, you know, who Deadshot even was, since he wasn't, they didn't actually have a crossover uh, thing during the Suicide Squad stuff. But that was very cool. I love the fact that they got that actor back, and he comes in as Deadshot in this episode, or, you know, that's his nickname, because he's a horrible shot, which they really showed in the last scene, because he's shooting... At Reverb, who we also get to see Cisco's counterpart, and he completely misses at like point blank range. When he did that, I thought it was because of Reverb's power, because I knew that he could do like the sonic boom type stuff, and I thought he was basically just thinking and was reflecting, you know, just stopping the bullets before they hit him. But he was just like, Oh, you're a terrible shot. I was like, Oh, I thought he was using his powers to stop the bullets. I was like, Nope, he just point blank range completely missed, just all over the place he missed. So, that was really funny when they did that. Of course, we got to see, finally, Killer Frost, which we got, you know, the clue of from the season finale of the last season. We got um, Deathstorm, I believe his name was. So, we got to see Ronnie back. Uh, Stein is in there, but he's basically locked away um, on Earth 2. Um, that was actually really cool. It was cool to see Ronnie come back. It was, you know, it's unfortunate that he's just a villain. Plus, he died again. That was messed up. I was like, geez, like, he's... You know, he's dead twice, and then he dies this time in Earth 2, and he, you know, it clearly Zoom doesn't give a crap about having evil henchmen, because seemingly he only had three people anyway, and then it's like, oh, you know, Zoom wants him unharmed. He came in, he did something, he'd like Mortal Kombat, you know, Deathstorm, because it looked like he stabbed him through his spine, and then he just took his hand out and he was dead. And then he kills Reverb, uh, kind of the typical way, you know, hits him in the heart. And he lets Caitlyn go, or, you know, Killer Frost. And then he takes Barry, zooms off, uh, no pun intended. I didn't, I don't know, I never would say that, but of course it happens when it's Zoom. But, you know, he takes him away and he locks him up. Uh, Barry is across from some person. Initially, I thought it was, like, Earth 2 Diggle, if he was actually working, you know, for Arrow still. But it was, like, some really skinny person. And it looked like Diggle's mask, but it was, like, a metal, um... It was kind of like the man in the iron mask type of thing. So, I don't know what that means. That was really weird, but it was just a random person just, like, tapping on the glass. Super skinny person, too. So, I don't know what that means, but that was really weird. And then, uh, Jesse's in there as well. So, there's a third person for some good reason. I would assume Zoom didn't just take a random person for no good reason. So, I'm wondering what we're going to get out of this next episode with this random person if there's anything to it it could just be a reference to something that i don't know but that was really weird it's just like a skinny person just tapping on the glass and just stuck in this you know mask and it was just really weird but i don't know that was really interesting it's hard not to notice that they made a clear focus on it but 
I feel like it has to be something important. This guy has to have done something to Zoom or been important to him in the past. Uh, maybe not in the best way, and that might be why he's chained up or, you know, locked in the glass case. But that was really cool, getting to see um, Iris, you know, Detective Iris, that was actually pretty cool. Um, in this Earth 2, Iris and Barry are already married. Barry and Joe do not like each other whatsoever. And Joe actually dies, which I couldn't believe they did this in this episode, but it was like, I can't believe that they actually had a scene where the doppelganger character dies after we just met them, and it was an emotional scene. I was like, how in the world? Like, this shouldn't be affecting me because it's, you know, Earth 2. But it was like, man, you know, like, Barry was right. Like, it does matter that it's these characters because it's hard to detach because that's how we are. Like, visually, you see someone, and, you know, it's the same name and stuff like that. But that was really crazy. I was like, holy crap, like, this is really, really sad. And these are technically characters that we just met in this episode, but... It was crazy. It was crazy to see that they had um, a lot of cool stuff. Oh, <clears throat> um, one of the other references that I didn't want to skip over. My voice sounds super different with the coffin. Um, the other reference that was really, really awesome that they did, there, there was Snart was the mayor, which is interesting. But the other really big thing was when Barry talked to his mother. And so the names, it was like, I don't know why it had this, but his dad was separated. I thought that was interesting. But it said dad, mom, and dad, and then it said Eddie. So that means that in this world, Eddie is still alive, I would assume. It said Eddie, then it was Hal, who was Hal Jordan, the Green Lantern. I believe it said, I believe it was Bruce after that, which is, of course, um, Bruce Wayne. And then Diana, who is uh, Wonder Woman. So I thought that was really cool that they put those references in there. Could be totally random. It could be, you know, just, like, you know, those people could just know each other in this universe. They don't necessarily have to be superheroes, but it was Eddie, Hal, um, Diana, and Bruce. So I thought that was very cool that they did that. Um, I love seeing all the tech where, I thought it was 50s, but it's actually 20s. Uh, when I got, like, the little glimpses and stuff, I definitely thought it was, like, 50s style, but it's actually 20s style. And that's even cooler than 50s. So it was nice to see that. Jitters is called Jitterbugs, which is pretty cool. Joe is a singer, which was actually pretty interesting. Uh, all the cars and stuff. Um, one thing I was surprised by is that they didn't mention that. Because it's obviously based on, you know, 50s. That's how they did Earth 2. I, find, I found it kind of interesting that they didn't have, like, Cisco or Barry kind of talk about it. Like, man, you guys are, like, straight out of a weird futuristic sort of 20s. So, I was surprised that they didn't put something like that in there, but they might have in the next episode. They might totally ignore that, because there are other important, you know, more important things happening. But, I love the references they had. We got to see Supergirl in there. Deadshot came back, in a sense. Um, of course, Ronnie came back as well. We got Alternate Joe, Alternate Iris. Um, the Captain came in there. He had, like, a whole beard mustache thing going on, and he was, like, the most typical 20s-style villain and everything, which I thought was kind of funny. But that was pretty interesting, just the way they did all that stuff. Um, the action was pretty good. I mean, we got a very surprising moment from Jay in this episode because he actually uh, gives us an, an explanation as to why he's dying. And it's because he actually used Velocity Six before and he enhanced his speed and it backfired on him. And basically, that's, you know, what was killing him. And I'm guessing that's what took his speed away as well. It was that he was already you know, getting weaker and weaker, and then, you know, Zoom kind of just sapped the rest of it out, but I thought that was interesting, you know, we get the full explanation as to what is killing him, why he didn't want to take it, even though, you know, it gave him a speed back, why he didn't want Barry to take it, because it would end up killing him as well, so he and Caitlin start working together, they make Velocity 7, I thought he was back in action, at least for a little bit, I figured it was temporary, but it kind of completely failed, like, in the middle, I was like, oh, well, that, that sucked, I was like, oh, he kind of he was just like played for a fool a little bit like he came in he had the suit and everything he did a super awesome thing when he's punching the hat and it makes like a sonic boom that i thought was awesome because i'd never seen that before so that was pretty cool i was pretty much as amazed as joe was and then you know he's running and then he's like he trips and falls over and he's about to get killed until you know joe shoots the guy and i was like man he he had his moment and it couldn't even last where he beat the guy and the guy escapes or something it was like nope he knocked him down 
twice or something, and then he runs at him, and it's like, oh, and he tumbles over, and he's down for the count. It's like, that really blows, but they're working on it. They have Velocity 7 now. Hopefully, it gets him his speed back, and, you know, that'll allow him to survive, basically, and I'm sure it will, and that probably won't happen until, like, the season finale, because, you know, they aren't going to make us super happy like that and just give us two speedsters, but, you know, they're going to be working on that. They, of course, have to fix um, the portal so that the guys can actually get back through because now that they've officially shut down every single portal which um, they kind of took time to show that one of the portals was the one with Gorilla Grodd like they you know showed the area so that was actually kind of cool just as a minor little thing but you know they took out all the other uh, breaches and now it's only the one at Star Labs and so it kind of you know overpowered the machine and destroyed it so they have to fix that which once again, we know they will, so no real fear on that side of things. Um, the big question is whether or not they're actually going to be able to save Jesse. We know Barry's going to survive, but is Wells' daughter actually going to make it out of this situation? That's the big question right now. So I'm really looking forward to this next episode. I certainly enjoyed this one. Um, very surprising, uh, some of the stuff that they did. I didn't expect them to even have Cisco in this episode, at least his doppelganger. And so we get... Cisco, we get vibe and reverb and he's telling them you know like you know you we can basically be gods like you know i've been watching you and i'm really disappointed and i love that he said like are you cloud city darth vadering me like i thought that was really funny but you know he sees that you know he as vibe he can do like the sort of the sound wave type things which i thought was very cool i knew he could do that because i knew that from the comics but you know it's like he he said a couple things, too. Like, when he was talking to Killer Frost Reverb, and he's like, you know, if you talk to me like that again, I'll, like, destroy your nervous system without breaking the sweat. I'm like, man, that's insane. And, you know, of course, he sends Deadshot flying back, and, you know, that's something to see for Cisco. It's like, holy crap, I'm gonna have, like, full-on attack power. It's not just I can, you know, see the future at certain points. It's like, I have full-on abilities. And... Something else that was actually really interesting is that Reverb still had glasses too. He wasn't, even though he had more control over his power, he wasn't automatically activating them. He still needed glasses as well. And his were blue instead of, you know, they had blue lights instead of green lights. And um, he was very evil. Definitely, like, it was really interesting watching him because he had, um, just the way he would speak was very interesting. It was it was kind of weird because it's like, you know, it's, it's Cisco, so it was, it was kind of weird. And Cisco told him, like, you know, I don't know what you're doing with the whole samurai um, hair thing. That, I thought that was pretty funny, too. But I like this episode. I was surprised that they killed off Deathstorm. That kind of sucked because I was like, man, it's not like Ronnie's going to be in it. And then, you know, he's dead again. So it's just like, he's just going to die. I'm sure he'll come back to life somehow again and they'll find a way to kill him off. Because at this point, it's like, oh, he's dead that time. Nope, he's Firestorm. And he's dead again. Oh, Earth 2. And now he's dead again. So... I'm sure they'll do something, like once a season at least, he's got to die, so, I don't know, we we might never, that might be the end of Ronnie Raymond in The Flash, but I just kind of doubt it, hopefully the next time it'll be because he was sent maybe through time, or something much nicer, and he's in the future, or something like that, and they can bring him back to the present, and then he's there, who knows what that would mean for, you know, Caitlin and Jay, but maybe, who knows. But I, I certainly enjoyed this episode. I was surprised it was a part one of, you know, two episodes as well. I thought this was just going to be, they go there, whatever happens, happens, and then they, you know, come right back. But I'm glad it's a part, you know, two-parter sort of deal. And then Iris finds out that the Barry that was with her basically wasn't her actual husband. So I'm looking forward to them kind of really getting involved with things. So that should be fairly exciting and very interesting to see just how that all plays out with the characters. But I, I really can't wait to see what they do. We have Barry locked up. We have, you know, Earth-1 without a Flash, really. And we still have the villain because he escaped. So I think he is going to be Jay's villain uh, for the next episode as well, which I'm kind of excited to see. And I don't think he'll have full speed again. I'm sure it'll still be temporary. But I think we'll actually get to see Jay run around at super speed again. It might last a bit longer this time. And he'll, you know, they'll have made developments for the Vector-7. So... 
still probably won't be permanent, but I think we'll get to see him use his abilities a little bit more in the next episode, which I'm excited to see. And plus, he needs a win. He's just been like, I'm dying, and I don't like Harrison Wells, and gone for three episodes, and then he shows up, and I'm dying, and stuff. So, he needs a win for sure. I think he kind of needs this for this next episode. And, you know, whatever happens, I I'm looking forward to it. Um... Actually, one thing that was really crazy, I thought we were getting a really huge reveal when he was talking about the Vector 6 thing. And he mentioned, like, oh, I wanted to boost my speed and stuff like that. And I did. But it backfired on me. And when he said that, I swear I thought he was giving us a full explanation as to how he created Zoom. And Zoom was, like, an alternate part of him. Because, uh, officially, in this episode, Joe is off the list as Zoom. And that was kind of one of the things, like, Earth 2 Joe might actually be Zoom. Maybe he's dead, but, you know, then he turns out to be Zoom. So, now the only person I can think of is Barry's dad. And I think that's, it, it's either him or it's someone we just don't know. So, at this point, I feel like that's the only real answer. It has to be Barry's dad. It can't be Barry, um, which we've officially seen. So, Barry's officially off the list, although everyone kind of counted him out because of the whole statue deal. But he is officially off the list. Um, it's, well, I don't know, I was about to say it's a guy, but technically we don't really know, that could be, I mean, it's got like some weird stretchy mouth thing, it could be voice modulation, who knows, I just thought of that, I never considered it, but, same thing as far as the build, it could, you know, be a bulkier woman, but it does seem like it's a guy, so, I don't really know who it could be, it's not Eddie, because Eddie was on the phone, so that's actually... Oddly enough, that's actually um, an answer to one of the possibilities. So, it's not Eddie. It's, of course, not Jay, because he's from Earth 2. We've met, you know, his Earth 1 counterpart, which I don't know. He may or... I don't know what the deal is with that, because they gave Jay's Earth 1 counterpart, Hunter Zolomon, as his name, which is Zoom's real name. So, I don't know what that even means. But, it's either him, somehow, through some crazy, you know, thing it's him, or it is going to end up being Barry's dad, uh, you know, Earth 2, I can't even think of his name, well, Barry's dad, is gonna, it could be Barry's dad from Earth 2, but I'm really looking forward to it, I know we won't get the answer, which really sucks, I think this would be the perfect time, like, we get all these cool references and stuff, and then it's like, boom, part 2 is the full answer as to who is Zoom and where he came from, we might get something, he, you know, Barry might actually ask him, and we might get at least a new hint or something as to who he might be or something like that and i don't know maybe the fact that you know barry you know on their phone oh i guess dad was probably for iris it was for joe so all right that makes sense now but i don't know it, it's got to be i would assume it has to be someone we know because otherwise it's just like oh it's just a random person which i guess it wouldn't m matter really because it's a great villain so i don't really care if it's not someone we already know but it would be cooler if it was, even if it was the Earth 2 counterpart, who we technically don't know, but clearly based on the sad scene of Earth 2 Joe dying, still an emotional attachment to these characters, so it doesn't matter, it would still be cool, but definitely want to know what you guys thought about this episode, so please comment below, let me know your favorite parts, your least favorite parts, and of all of the references that we got in this episode, because we got a lot actually, um, way more than I was expecting, we got the Supergirl thing, we got... Uh, the phone stuff with Bruce and how basically every superhero, you know, the Justice League. So that was pretty cool. Um, we got Deadshot back again, which I really love the fact that he was in there. Just because, you know, it's like, holy crap, that's an awesome way to do that. Because, obviously, he's not going to be showing up in Arrow anymore. Which, it would be awesome if he did somehow survive that and he showed up again. I'd be so happy. Because, actually, I really like Deadshot in Arrow. I thought he was really cool. But we got a, a bunch of cool references and then just a bunch of, you know, Earth 2 craziness. So I definitely want to know your favorite thing from Earth 2 or even, you know, if it was the Supergirl thing, if that was your favorite, I'd like to know that as well. But I also want to know what your expectations are for, I guess, Earth 2 Part 2 because it's pretty much what it's going to end up being. So speculations on what's going to happen there, how they're going to save Barry from Zoom because... Zoom is still with, like, the extra lightning and everything, which is actually pretty cool. So, Zoom's still way faster than anyone that could possibly, you know, be on Earth 2 at this point. So, I just don't see how they're going to do it. I guess they're going to use the weapon again. 
Um, which they, I guess, would only work against Killer Frost. So, I don't know. But I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, I definitely want to know what you guys thought about it. So please comment below. Let me know. And thanks for watching.